Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off a bunch of simple ways to reduce your input delay on both console and PC. Now, in the past, I've made a ton of FPS boost guides, but I don't think I've ever made one solely focused on lowering your input delay. And yes, I know that lower input delay is a direct result of higher FPS. I'm not a little Timmy. However, what you guys need to understand is that there's numerous ways to reduce your input delay that do not involve advanced Windows tweaks or PC optimizations. Go check out my FPS boost guide for that stuff. So, as always, make sure to drop a like if this helps you out. I know for a fact it's gonna lower your input delay, so you might as well leave a like right now. But without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alright, so to start off, I quickly want to show how you can measure your input delay in-game, literally inside Fortnite. I think a decent amount of you guys know about this. I have covered it in the past. Still, for those of you guys that do not know, here the heck it is. This input delay setting can only be enabled on either DX11 or DX12. Either one works. Performance mode does not for actually seeing the latency. What you're going to do is scroll down on the first settings page to where it says latency markers. Turn that on. Then back on the top in your tabs, you're going to go to the game UI tab, basically all the HUD settings, and you're going to turn on latency debug stats. It's right above net debug stats. This tells you your ping. You're going to turn latency debug stats on apply and now you can see in the top left it shows my input delay in game i was slightly under three while looking up i think while i build it should be a little higher yeah it's going up to four four milliseconds of input delay is nothing that is really low we could have a competition down in the comments let me know what all of your input delay when you turn that on is but yeah that is how you can actually see it how we're going to compare some of these settings and different ways to actually reduce it Let's go to that stuff right now. On to the actual tips and topics, we're going to talk about something that Aussie Antics recently covered, which is that certain in-game skins and cosmetics will actually lower your input delay in-game. This has kind of been a conspiracy theory for like a while. I remember a bunch of people made a huge deal over the Star Wand pickaxe that all the pros used. People were saying it either had no input delay or it swung faster. And then more recently, a bunch of people said the same exact thing about the Catwoman pickaxe. Well, I'm here today to tell you that the skin you wear, the pickaxe you equip, the back bling you have on, and yes, even the gun wrap you use in-game will affect your input delay in FPS. The reason I know this and how I know it will actually make your game feel less or more responsive is all because of a PC tweaker named Paragon. I will link his Twitter down below if he's still not suspended. This dude went out and he tested pretty much every single cosmetic in the game, and what he found was that between 4-7, to seven, maybe a little more, skins and pickaxes in-game will actually improve your performance. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical at first. I felt like there was no way that a single skin or pickaxe could make that big of a difference. Maybe if you had a giant rainbow skin that lit up and had all these different animations, sure it could be like a 5 to 10 FPS difference, but this Paragon guy had to be capping, right? Right? Nope. A Twitter user named T Jules wanted to see if Paragon was correct or not, so he set up his own test using these same exact parameters in Creative. He basically chose two different outfits, that would mean a different skin, a different back bling, a different pickaxe and gun wrap. He then went into a blank creative world, looked straight at the horizon with an uncapped FPS, and found something really really crazy. With a quote unquote unoptimal outfit, this would be one that Paragon would not recommend you use. I'll show the recommended ones in a minute by the way. T Jules using his supercomputer got an average of 900 FPS. On the other hand, with an optimal outfit, aka one that Paragon does recommend, he was boosted up to over 1100 FPS. That is a 200 FPS difference solely because of a skin, a gun wrap, and a pickaxe. What? And the craziest part is that the skins weren't even that different. On your screen now is the quote unquote unoptimal or not recommended skin that T Jules used. It was literally the Jewel skin. No back bling, a pickaxe with an eye that opens and closes, and then the bright blue reactive gun wrap that has like a weird swirly animation. All of that stuff made a big enough difference to get him an extra 200 FPS in creative. Could you imagine how big the difference must be on other skin combos, specifically skin combos that you guys are using? Oh, and by the way, I just want to make it clear, you're not going to get the same 200 FPS difference if you're on like console or 150 FPS. No single game change or tweak in the entire 
entire world can get you that much FPS at that low value. However, this will still definitely help your game run smoother and feel way more snappier if you cap your FPS like I do. And on top of that, it will drastically reduce your input delay on console, PC, mobile, Switch. It will make your game feel way more responsive on every platform. Just think about it for a second. If I could see and feel a difference on my NASA PC, in which I get an average of like a thousand FPS just like T-Jewels, then wouldn't it make sense for you guys who are on lower end PCs, maybe on console, to feel an even greater effect? You guys on console, I just played on it last week. You guys have no performance mode, no option to change any settings, you don't have an operating system like Windows 10 to make tweaks. I wish you guys did, but the fact of the matter is you don't, and you don't really have a lot of options to get better FPS and lower input delay. Not anymore though! This is one of the best tweaks you could do! Just put on a zero or low input delay skin that Paragon recommends and boom! Your old gen console that is probably overheating and sounds like a jet engine on your desk. It will finally make your game run smoother and feel way less delayed. As for the actual recommended outfits, we will start with these skins. Any and all of these skins on your screen right now will improve slash reduce your input delay in game. You have stuff like the Red Knight, Scarlet Commander, Recon Expert. You also have skins with many different variants like the Mogul Master or the Pit Stop. For those type of skins, any variant will work. And speaking of any variant, the basic idea is that you want a skin that is very simple. You want something where there's no animations going on, no extra textures or floating things like a cape or cloth. Just basic, simple, female or male skins without a lot of stuff going on. It doesn't even have to be one of the few Paragon skins. Just make sure it is simple and basic. For pickaxes, the same concept pretty much applies. You want a pickaxe that has no swinging animation, no extra stuff on it while you just have it out. Some of my favorite pickaxes that Paragon recommended are the Icebreaker, that's the shovel, the Driver, that's the golf club, the Harley Hitter, which is the bat. Most of the sweaty pickaxes that you see pros use, those are good, except for the Star Wand. Yes, you heard that correctly, the Star Wand is not a Paragon recommended pickaxe because it does have a trail animation of like these little stars when you use it. So feels bad man, rest in peace the star wand pickaxe. Second to last one are the backlings. I'm not gonna put any on the screen because none of them are recommended for good input delay. Literally no matter which one you use, using no backbling will always be better. None of them are gonna get you lower FPS compared to it, so just don't use a backbling. Then the final optimal cosmetics that Paragon recommends for lower input delay, your gun wraps. Yes, they make a difference. I will put them them all on the screen. You can see they're very simple, basically one or two colors at most, and none of them are reactive. Avoid reactive gun wraps at all costs. Those motherfreakas alone will be the demise of your input delay and your FPS. I don't care how cool they look. Take them off and do not use them. Yeah! Simple tip number two to reduce your input delay is to enable mobile builds. Wait. That is not a mobile build. What the heck, Jarian? Haha, <laughs> I tricked you guys. I'm so funny. The reason I'm not on mobile builds is because I want to test just normal performance mode, high meshes. I also want to show you guys how to go and change to mobile builds because you can't do it in game. So this is normal high meshes. You can see it's grayed out. I literally cannot change it. And when I look up 2.9, 3.0, it looks like it's basically three milliseconds, a little lower than DX11. And when I build, it's still around that point. It does a lot better. Oh, compared to DX11. But remember, this is not even mobile builds, which is really going to reduce our input delay. Let's go change that. Hehe. <laughs> What you need to do is go to your settings, down to meshes, and turn it on to low. This is going to enable mobile builds. It's also going to make your character a little more grainy. Your graphics won't be as nice. But I'm telling you, you're going to see a huge difference in your actual input delay. I swear, I was seeing 1.9. Bro, it's going down to 1.9. <laughs> what? Two milliseconds flat. So it dropped an entire one millisecond just from going to mobile builds. And then when I build, it's around two and a half 
three. It dropped a full millisecond just from the low meshes. I won't even say mobile builds because I didn't have any builds out. It's just the low meshes in general. And I guess that's what I should call it because that is technically the actual setting. I mean, look at the block. There's just random grass in it. I don't know why, but that is how mobile builds be doing us. Now, me myself, I will never switch to mobile builds just because I'm a content creator and they look like butt cheeks. They feel so good, but just look at these things. There's no way anyone wants to watch that. Let's say I was not a content creator though. Let's say I was trying to be a pro. Then honestly, I would give it a shot. I know a ton of pros. Reet uses them. Reet, by the way, just won two different solo cash cups in one day while using mobile builds. Then there's also Muzz who uses it. Lechi who uses them. Coop just switched to them and he placed in a solo cash cup. He even tweeted that mobile builds are broken and that you need to switch to them or else you're dumb. I would not say you're dumb if you don't use mobile builds or low meshes rather. I would say if you don't have a great PC and you feel a lot of input delay, definitely try them out. They make your game feel like butter. And honestly, I do feel like you can get used to the lower visibility. It's pretty jarring at first, like you cannot see through this wood. Don't even get me started on metal or brick. Brick is probably the worst when it's fully built <laughs> in terms of visibility. You're gonna be running through an end game and have to like memorize which builds are yours. That is the one big trade off of mobile builds and low meshes. So, yeah, like I said, if you experience a ton of input delay, try out mobile builds. I guarantee it will cut that in half. I have a NASA PC and it lowered my crap basically in half from three milliseconds to less than two. That is ridiculous. Um, uh, moving on. Second to last simple way to reduce your input delay. It is really, really simple. Well, there's actually two different parts. One is to turn off record replays. I always tell you guys to do this, apply. Like you don't need all these replays. Not to mention replays take up a ton, a ton of storage, especially if you're on console. But look at these, 15 minutes, 23 minutes. That is a huge file that is in the game on your PC. And that's gonna make your game run way worse and feel delayed. Oh yeah, as for the method to delete all these, you can actually press open replay folder. This is what you should see. And literally, it's the app data, all the saved replays. It shows them all here. And look at the size of these bad boys. 27,000 kilobytes. Sheesh. That is a big boy. What I'm going to do is just highlight all of them and I'm going to delete. Boom, they're all gone. And when I press refresh, they're all gone. I'm telling you guys right now, this actually makes a huge difference. Let me actually load up a creative match. I am on high meshes. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We will look into the distance. Bro, it just went below two. 1.9! It is almost low mesh territory. And that was just from destroying, or not destroying, <laughs> deleting all my replay files. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine I used this with low meshes, maybe stretched res? I would have literally zero milliseconds of input delay. I think it would actually just not be allowed. Go delete your replay files already! Final trick is another two-parter. Not really a trick, but what you should do, go into the bottom and type up startup apps. Open that up in Windows, and you should see all the applications that are gonna start up by default. I've covered this so many times, but people don't realize how much of an impact this makes on your input delay and your FPS as you play. You should pretty much have all of these turned off outside maybe Epic Games. You do not want any of these running in the background and using up all your process. Is. Like even Spotify, I just turn that off in case I actually do use it and listen to music. And speaking of apps you use, where that bad boy? Bring over Spotify, JerBear18. I definitely did not just sign up with a random account, but these are the settings. You guys saw I went on the top right, I pressed settings. And now what you're gonna do is scroll down to where it says show advanced settings. You're gonna keep scrolling down to where it says compatibility and enable hardware acceleration. Hardware acceleration acceleration is not good. Uncheck this, make sure it's turned off. What this does is it uses more of your GPU to actually make Spotify run smoother. I'll show you guys how to turn it off on Discord as well. So we have my Discord here. Hopefully I did not leak any messages, but we're gonna go to the user settings. I clicked the cog wheel. I think it's under advanced. Yep, you see hardware acceleration. This is usually turned on by default and it reads turns on hardware acceleration 
which uses your GPU to make Discord run smoother. Turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops. Bro, you do not want that checked. You should get a pop-up. It's gonna say changing hardware acceleration will quit and relaunch. Okay, we do not care. We just want that off. That is gonna heavily affect your input delay in-game, even though you're not using it and it's running in the background. Or, well, you are using it, but you guys know what I mean. You do not want any of these things in the background. I'm gonna pull up my task manager. If you are, you're gonna see all these values really high, and if it is, make sure to turn off whatever the heck you're running. I'm using OBS to record, and it's only 1%. That is good. But yeah, that is basically what you need to know. Turn off everything as you play. Turn off hardware acceleration! Get lower input delay! Overall guys, those are numerous ways to reduce your input delay on both console and PC. It will work. So if you guys enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Like I always say, I'm open to doing anything. Let me know. Otherwise, that is it from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank <laughs> you.